welcome once again to Voices from the Macabre. I am your host, Dr. Johnny Fear. These stories have been written by staff or submitted by our listening audience. Please continue to listen at your own risk. (laughs) Are you still there? Then let us begin. This heart-rendering and vicious incident took place when I was 17. It was at a spooky Christmas party at my uncle's place one night. Guessing the theme of the party, of course, was no rocket science. I mean, it was themed with a Halloween setting. To get fit to the theme, everyone at the party was dressed enormously weird, including myself. All I could see were witches, monsters, Bloody Mary, and bloodsuckers. All around, all the people were behaving in a very strange manner just to justify their characters. The party had a strange aurora of fear, and that truly scared me a bit. But what really caught my eye was this boy. He was very strange looking, didn't appear to belong. He had a surreal look to me and his pale yellow skin, but... It seemed to suit the theme, so I didn't pay much attention to him at first. And then, he did something odd that got everyone's attention at the party to focus on him, including myself. You see, he ran and jumped into the pool. And the whole time, he was chanting some strange foreign words. At first, everyone laughed. They thought it was part of the party. So they paid no real special attention to it. They thought that he had successfully succeeded in grabbing everyone's attention. But later, he started behaving ferociously in a pool. He started bashing his head in the water over and over and over again. It was like a couple of hundred times. It was then we realized that there was something wrong with him. His state of mind wasn't right. The adults at the party ran and dove in and drug him out of the pool. It took more than four people to do so. He was a beast in the form of a man. One that was really hard to control. And even after being drug out of the pool, he kept banging his head on the concrete. But the strangest part was this. Even after being hurt badly on his head, there were no signs of blood coming out of his wounds. Then he started screaming and yelling in a foreign language. And his voice, it it was a pain to my ears. It it felt like a numerous amount of people just screaming at the top of their voices at the same time. Everyone there had to place their hands over their ears in discomfort. Later on, he puked in this dark black substance came out in the pool and then out of nowhere he jumped up and he ran and he vanished in the pool no one dared to go look for him as everyone was completely terrified by what they just saw till today no one knows who that boy was or where he came from there was no family there that reported missing a child There was nothing in the newspapers. Some tell stories of a little boy that mysteriously died on Christmas Eve and he comes back to haunt people in the neighborhood. Others just write it off as an old wives tale or they use it as a creepy story to tell their kids on Halloween. Others use it to try to get their kids to behave. I still don't know exactly what happened, but I know what happened. Even now, when I have thoughts of that night, especially on Christmas Eve, it runs shivers down my spine. You have been listening to Voices from the Macabre. Please subscribe and like our channel, or we will haunt your dreams. 
you still there? Then go visit his voices from the macabre.com and tell us your darkest fears. Until next, Until next time, stay, stay awake. awake. <laughs>